Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and I received a question on one of the tutorials I did for Toon Boom Studio. Uh, yeah, bones are great and all, but does this program allow you to do frame-by-frame -frame animation? I don't want to be held back like with Anime Studio, where my only choice is bones or nothing at all. And I needed to clear up something. Uh, yes, Toon Boom products, uh, all of Toon Boom products. Uh, do frame by frame animation. Me personally, um, I was kind of raised as a flash animator more so than a frame by frame animator. So I'm used to doing limited or cutout animation. But uh, don't let that stop you. And I'm going to do something really quick right now. Um, just a little exercise I normally work with students on when they first learn. Um, animation. This is just the little blob exercise. I've done it before in Toon Boom uh, Animate, but I'm going to do this right now in Toon Boom Studio. So what I'm going to do is simply grab my brush tool. I'm going to draw out my very first frame here. And I'm going to go about to frame, let's say, five or so. I'm going to turn on my onion skin, see if this will give me my previous drawings and I can kind of see um, the drawing that was before right here. Um, and what I'm going to do by frame five is there should be two circles. So there'll be one up here and this big one will be a little bit smaller because it's given birth to that little one. All right. So ah, that's frame four actually. Let me move this over to frame five. All right. So frame two. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to grab frames two through four here, and I'm just going to press the delete button. So I've got two keys. I have frame one and then frame five. Okay. And I'm going to do the breakdown. I'll select frame three and I can see the onion skin here. So I'm just going to draw out This little almost peanut shaped thing here. Um, and I'm going to clean up that line a little bit. So I'm going to do select this and just right click on here. Let's see if I can smooth this out. Okay, that's a little better. All right, so next I'll select frame two. So I want to do what's between frame one. I can see you're drawing frame one and what's between what's frame three look like. So I'm going to draw the in between of this. I'm just going to scrub this real quick. Looks pretty cool. And last but not least, uh, what's going to be the in between? I can control my, uh, I'm just going to do the previous drawing and one next drawing. So I can see it a little bit better. That's adjusting my onion skin. So for here, I'm going to draw just as this is about to snap, or maybe it's just snapped. I'm going to redraw that. Let's do Command Z. I'm going to start out there, and I'm going to even do something silly like make a little pop animation there. So I'm going to scrub my head back and forth. Looks good. And that looks pretty decent. And last but not least, uh, I think I'll just have these two little objects kind of floating around right after that. And It'll be the first one will be the blobs. That'll be the first layer. And right here where they separate, I'm going to add a new drawing layer. And I'll draw our little tiny one. And then I'm going to go to the very next frame. 
draw the little tiny one again. I'm drawing same size there. So I'm going to be covering two different things here. And those are three frames. I'll select all those. Hold down my shift key to select all of them. Right click, create a cycle, and I'll have that go 20 times. Looks good. It's going to be the little circle. Underscore circle. So what I'm going through right now is I'm showing you several different things I'm doing. I'm not creating any bones. I did create a cycle. Um, then I, in the very beginning, I drew the breakdown. So I, excuse me, I drew the keys, then the breakdown, and then the tweens. And of course, you can still go in and add more to that. Um, and last but not least, we'll add the big circle. And I'm going to show you something that you may or may not know about. And what I'm going to do for the last one here, I'm going to show you a different window. I'm going to click over instead of the timeline, I'll click to exposure. So this is actually if you're familiar with traditional animation, this is the exposure sheet here. So I'm now working on the big circle so I can simply come in and paint. Big circle. And I can select frame two, or I can even come down and select uh, one of the other frames as we did in the very beginning, where I could draw out a key draw out another key and then start selecting uh, the different frames to draw the breakdown. But for this one, I'm just going to draw out the other little element to get our nice little cycle going here. All right. Now, again, I'm not a traditional animator, so I'm, I'm used to using the timeline, but I'm going to select these three frames. I'll right click and I'll say create cycle. And again, I want it to go 20. So it does those cycles. And I'm going to jump back to the timeline. And both these new elements, I'm going to make sure they have a, a direct center here. So I'm going to my rotate tool. And I'll move my center right to the beginning, to the middle here. And the same thing with the tiny circle. And what I'll do is I'll enter a keyframe. Let's do I. And maybe by, I don't know, frame 60, it's over here. And enter a keyframe here on the small one. Let's press the letter I. And by 60, maybe it's at a different spot. All right. Click on my select tool. And if I play this, All right, so long and story short, uh, yes, you can do hand-drawn, you can do cutout, and actually in Toon Boom Studio, it's one of the only ones that you can do hand-drawn in the computer. You can import and scan in anything you've done hand-drawn. You can also do stop motion in Toon Boom Studio. Uh, not even the other products by Toon Boom do that. Toon Boom Studio uh, has a lot of different features. And yes, hand-drawn is one of them. So I hope that answers your question. Again, this is Tony Ross from TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.
Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and I wanted to let you know that I currently have out two different comprehensive Toon Boom products. One of them is from Infinite Skills, and it's Learning Toon Boom Studio 8, and the other is from TonyTeach.com, which is Character Animation in Toon Boom Animate 3. Now, both of these titles cover everything from, hey, here's how to work within the interface, all the way to creating a very simple scene. So for more information and to purchase these, just go ahead and click on one of the icons. Have a good one.